guys, welcome back to the Healthy Living segment with me, Dana, from the local Alabaster YMCA. Um, just wanted to talk to you a little bit about what we got going on right now for the spring. We're still in our 2020 promotion that we have going on right now, which is where if you come in and join the branch and you have someone who is already a member who can refer you, you and that member get 20% off of their membership fees for every month for up to a year as long as you're in good standing. Or if you have a friend that wants to come in and join with you that's not a member of the Y, both of you guys can join together and get 20% off of each of your monthly memberships as long as you are in good standing. So come on in, join the YMCA. Right now, we're actually registering for summer camp, so you could get registered for that, get signed up for it. We will also begin registering for baseball on April the 1st. And um, when you join the Y, you actually get a $50 program credit that um, gets uh, credited back to you so you can use it on anything that we um, charge extra for. So you can actually use your $50 program credit toward that registration for baseball or toward summer camp registration for, for your kids. So come on out, join the Y, come see us right now. You can check us out at the www.ymcabham.org. That's our website, and you can find out all the great things that we have going on. We are knocking on the door of spring. We only have about eight weeks left until summer arrives, and we want to get bikini ready, right? Everybody wants to get bikini ready. So I have just a couple of tips for you and some things to think about that can help you over these next eight weeks get ready to put on that bathing suit for the summer. Um, the first thing is to set a goal. It's really important to make sure you set a goal, whatever that is. It could be lose weight. It could be just tone up. Um, it, it could be change your eating habits. There's so many things that you could, could change and you can just choose one or two things. You don't want to overload yourself with a goal. But that's the first most important thing is make sure you set a goal. The second thing is make sure that you drink a lot of water so you want to hydrate yourself. Um, the, our bodies are actually about 60% um, made of water and so we need to make sure that we're drinking plenty of it. Um, sometimes that changes how much you drink according to uh, whether you work out or if you're working outside, those kind of things. But uh, just a good rule of thumb is to try to get in eight, um, eight ounce glasses of water a day. And so start there, it's a great place to start. The other thing is it's calories in versus calories out always. We wanna eat right and we wanna make sure we exercise. Generally losing weight and getting in shape is about 75% what you eat. And I know that's not what we always wanna hear, but that's, that's kind of um, just the truth of it, the fact of it. So you wanna make sure that you're choosing things in the grocery store that's on the outside of the store. Um, you wanna fill up your plate 50% with fruits and vegetables, and then the other 50% with just some lean protein and some healthy fats. The other thing is you wanna make sure you're exercising. If you're not exercising at all, Try adding one or two days of going for a walk or something like that just to get started. But if you are exercising, one thing that you can do is actually maybe just start adding five minutes to your exercise plan every week until summer gets here. You'll have added a good bit of time on your exercise routine and um, it kind of change it up a little bit. So those are my healthy tips for you to get ready for the summer. Um, we would love for you to come join us here at the Alabaster YMCA and come see us. Um, there's tons of things here that we can actually help you with to make sure that you can get in that bathing suit for the summer.